Hello everyone, this is Lamed Sane of Code Logical, and in today's video we're going to have a look at what are Ember adapters and the Ember effect show adapter in general. Okay, so if you have been with me from the last video, you may have noticed that we um, did change this part of the model to return a person, um, a list of people, models instead of just um, a list of strings. So what are adapters in general? So I did do something like app dot person adapter and then just say dx dot um, fixture adapter dot extend. All right. So what is this saying? This is saying take the person um, anytime a person has been requested. Do not go to the server, and that's what this part is saying. But instead, look for fixtures and return. The people inside the fixtures. So by default, um, what you use is this is what Ember does for you by default. I'll comment this part out. So this is what Ember does for you. App dot application adapter equals to ds dot um, rest adapter dot extend. So this is what's happening behind the scenes and when you do this basically what you're saying is not just for any one um, person when a person is requested but let's say we had another type of model called app.cars right equals to ds.model dot extent okay pardon me my mistake here so let's say we have cars as well so now if we request cars inside of here saying um, this dot store let me just quickly do that this dot store dot find car so now even though I did not explicitly do app dot car adapter equals to um, rest adapter here or fixture adapter or whatever this car adapter will automatically use this application adapter and it will go to the server and um, it will um, it will try to fetch cars from a server instead of using the fixture adapter. So you have to change every model you create automatically defaults to the rest adapter. So you have to change um, for each model explicitly which adapter you want to use. Let's say you during development you want people to be using the fixture adapter, but you want cars to use the um, adapter from the server. So you can do something like car adapter equals to ds dot rest adapter. Dot e extend so let's do this so right now the um, person adapter will use the fixture adapter and the car adapter will use the rest adapter so let's just actually try that so let me create fixtures for both cars and um, and people so we haven't a person model so we'll create that quickly So we have a person, right? So let's say first name quickly and a car, let's say type. Okay, so we'll create fixtures for a person. So to have an array, we'll just put one person there. Let's just say first name let's just say the rock yeah wrestling <laughs> all right so now let's request for um, person here and we go back to our browser and we refresh okay what error did we have hmm. since the ID Oh, I keep forgetting this. We need an ID here, so an ID of one. Back in the browser, we refresh. As you can see, that person is displayed here. Um, it's not very important in this tutorial video to actually output a person, but I'll just do it anyway. So let's just say instead of item, we say item dot um, first name. Refresh the rock. Okay, 
So let's go in our um, Ember Inspector here and look at the store. So in the data part of the store, um, we have uh, person. As you can see, it did detect all the model types. So in cars, we don't have any cars. That's so that's why you have the zero here. But we have one person in the fixture adapter, um, in the fixture part of the store. So that's why we have um, one person here. All right. So now let's go ahead and let's look in the network style actually first. So just to confirm that uh, um, it's not making a call to the server. So let's refresh. As you can see, there's no call being done to the server. So let me just comment this part out. This part that uses the fixture um, adapter for the person. And I'll refresh this and you will see it makes a call to the server. As you can see, there's a call here that's going to the server and it is doing a get to slash people. But nothing is being um, returned, it's just an HTML part here. Um, so this is not um, a right, um, it's not implemented properly, so it's failing. All right, so let's just return a person. Instead of person, let's return a car here. As you can see, you can use both fixture and rest adapter. Now when we um, refresh here, it will make a call to um, the car's restful server. There's no model was found for car. So we have to create model for car app dot car equal to es dot model dot extend. So we say um, actually we do have a car adapter. I just named it cars. It should be singular. All right. Um, so we refresh and um, as you can see error of loading route. That's fine because it's um, failed loading the cars. So normally you would expect a JSON from the server, but we'll get to that in another video. So as you can see, it went to the server and tried to fetch for slash cars. So that's how you use um, adapters in Ember. And I know this tutorial might not have been that clear or it might be slightly confusing, but if you do have questions, please post them below and I'll be sure to answer them. So that's how you use fixture adapters and actually um, the Ember adapters in general. There's another adapter called um, I think Active Model Adapters, but it's not very common that I use it. So I'll show you quickly if you want to learn more about these, where to go the Ember website. So let's go to Ember, go to APIs, Ember.adapters. Um, let's go to Ember Data. Yes, as you can see, there's active model adapter here. Uh, it will explain to you why you should use the active model adapter. Maybe when you're using a, um, a Rails back, um, server backend, um, but I don't use Rails, so I'm not quite sure about that. So there's, um, sorry, not REST serializer. There's REST adapter here, which is the one that we uh, showcased today. And then there's a fixture adapter as well. So those are the three main adapters in Ember, and they all extend from the uh, main um, adapter class here but normally you don't extend from that so that's it guys thanks for watching i hope this was helpful and if you liked it please comment and subscribe and share the videos um, so thanks, thanks for watching i'll see you soon in another video bye bye